This is the assembly video for the Scara Mini, the Scara V4, and the Scara Elite. The first step we need to do is to slide the proximal arm halfway onto the Z-rail. When moving the arm, please be careful to not twist the chain around. When sliding the arm on, make sure that it is correctly aligned. Go slowly. If done incorrectly, the plastic rail bearings can break. With the proximal arm on halfway, we can now feed the belt through the length of the Z-rail. Make sure that the belt does not get twisted around inside of the rail. With the belt through the Z-rail, we will now secure it to the belt holder. You will need to unscrew the holder and insert the belt. You can use an Allen key or screwdriver to slightly pry up the holder. Insert the belt so that the pre-made hole lines up with the screw hole and then reinsert the screw. With the belt now secure, we can slide the proximal arm the rest of the way onto the rail. Now we will temporarily mount the chain to the rail to prevent it from swinging around. The rail is marked to show you where the chain should be mounted. Gently flip the rail over. The Z probe switch should be attached to the other side of the rail on its marked spot. It attaches to a square nut which can slide freely inside of the rail. The next step requires two people. We are going to put the Z-Rail assembly into the tower. The distal arm assembly can slide down freely on the Z-Rail during this step. Make sure to support it so it does not slide off of the rail. When inserting the Z-Rail, you may need to loosen the bolts on the tower and adjust the position of the tower nut. Once it is resting in place, tighten the top bolt to temporarily secure the Z-rail. We now need to tighten the Z-belt. To do this, the Z-gearbox needs to be taken off first. Confirm that the Z-belt is hanging down. If it is not, you may have to move the proximal arm up and down to wiggle the belt. We are going to insert the Z-gearbox and ensure that the belt goes around the pulley. You can check to see if the belt is on the pulley correctly through the wire port on the back side of the tower. The next step is to tighten the Z-belt with the belt tightening tool. Remove the bottom chain holder and install the tightening tool. Use the included white spacer so that the paint does not get damaged. Make sure that the screws are snug, otherwise it will slip. Insert the tightening bolt into place. You can now loosen the top bolt in the tower, allowing the Z-rail to slide up and down. You will need a 14 mm or 9 16 inch driver, or you can use a wrench of this size and tighten the belt by hand. An adjustable wrench can be used as well. The belt only needs to be snug. It should be able to be pressed down into the rail when some force is applied. The belt should not be able to flex more than three quarters of an inch as shown here. 
With the belt tightened, you can now tighten all of the bolts on the tower. Confirm that the belt is still on the pulley correctly. Remove the belt tightening tool and put back the chain holder in its place. The main wire harness can now be connected. Make sure that the tabs line up with each other. It should be fully inserted as shown here. Now we will plug in the wires into the Z motor. Push the cables next to each other as shown here and then put on the motor cover. Take the extruder cable out and feed it through the distal arm. The next step is to attach the distal arm. If you have multiple arms, please use the correct length screw for the type of arm you are installing. We recommend that one person holds the arm in place while a second person tightens the first screw. Make sure to secure all of the distal screw mounting points. This brass rod needs to be in front of the sensor as shown here. If it is past the sensor, gently pull the distal arm away from the proximal arm. If you are not planning to use the extruder cable, you can tuck it away inside of the, the distal arm for use at a later time. If you are going to be using the cable, it can be secured to the outside of the distal arm with zip ties. The last step is to plug in the cable. The machine is now fully assembled. For tutorials on how to operate the SCARA printer, please check the links in this video's description.